Welcome to the sandy beaches of Hawaii, where locals live by what they call the aloha spirit, written into Hawaiian law that all Hawaiians conduct themselves in loving ways to each other by expressing kindness, humility, unity, and patience. It's that spirit of aloha that the Hawaiian Supreme Court just used to rule. Hawaiians do not have a right to carry a firearm in public without a license. The case dates back to 2017, when Maui police arrested a man named Chris Christopher Wilson for carrying an unregistered pistol. Wilson was charged with improperly holding a firearm and ammo. The gun was unregistered in Hawaii and Wilson had not applied for a permit to carry the gun. Wilson told officers he legally purchased the gun in Florida in 2013. He filed to dismiss the charges, arguing they violate his Second Amendment rights. Wilson's motion was denied. Then in 2022, the U.S. Supreme Court handed down its decision in New York State Rifle Pistol Association versus Bruin. The high court ruling carrying a gun in public is a constitutional right. The court also saying gun laws must be consistent with the nation's historical tradition of firearm regulation. So Wilson filed a second motion to dismiss his case. A judge then granted the dismissal and then the state appealed to the state Supreme Court. Hawaii's high court vacated the lower court's order granting Wilson's motion to dismiss. In a 53-page unanimous opinion, Justice Todd Eden rebuked the Supreme Court's Bruin decision. He noted the state's own constitution mirrors the Second Amendment, but that the court reads those words differently than the U.S. Supreme Court. We hold that in Hawaii, there is no state constitutional right to carry a firearm in public, he said, directly contradicting the Bruin ruling. He added Hawaii's historical tradition excludes an individual right to possess weapons. The opinion goes on to say Hawaii has never recognized a right to carry deadly weapons in public, not as a kingdom, republic, territory or state, and that the spirit of aloha clashes with a federally mandated lifestyle that lets citizens walk around with deadly weapons during day to day activities. Wilson's lawyer said Thursday his office is looking over their options, including seeking a review from the U.S. Supreme Court. In another Second Amendment case out of Hawaii, three Maui residents are challenging a law that went into effect last year, prohibiting Hawaiian residents from carrying firearms on the beach or into banks and bars and restaurants that serve alcohol. The Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals is set to hear those oral arguments in April.